Ocean. Hello, PD Ewart, Ravens, Yorks and Creek Wolves, students and staff, families who may be listening. This is Wayanook, Luke Dandrand, from Kwantlen First Nation, the Aboriginal support worker at the middle schools, these middle schools. Uh, this message is coming to you from Kwantlen First Nation. For those who may not know, Kwantlen is on an island in Fort Langley, across the bridge from Fort Langley and Langley. Uh, our family lives alongside the streamline of the Fraser River. And today's lesson, we're going to talk about uh, animal symbolism in some form and or all connection to the land. Tamuch is the land. And how it really helps to guide many indigenous people like Kwantlen who have lived with this land for thousands of years. Kwantlen's been here for at least 20,000 years. We have archaeology proof that shows that we've been here for 14,000 years. And all our relationship to living things. So Mrs. Mrs. Cockrell and Miss Friesen have it set up for the next six weeks. We will learn about the connection between animal symbolism, the land, and the core competencies that um, as students and staff we will work together towards every day. So this is labeled as the six cedars. We are all one and all living things are connected. We are all one. And Hunkaminum, our language would be Namwayet. Working together is Yayasto. And cedar trees. There used to be cedar trees all across Fort Langley. There was never such thing as a walnut grove or a willoughby. We were all filled with cedar trees, all up and down. That's it was an abundance, a place of abundance of just cedar tree. Yorkson Creek was is a place name. So the creek actually at one time, long time ago, went through where the school is now. The creek is way under the school right now. So Yorkson Creek is a place name. So our first animal that we will be looking at uh, is the quiescent, uh, which in Hunkaminum is called a bear. And on your sheet it says, Bear teaches us personal responsibility. The bear teaches us to reflect on our feelings and find balance with rest and work. Now, uh, Mrs. Cockrell, Miss Friesen, this was a very uh, excellent first choice because during this pandemic, it has left a lot of time for us to reflect on what is happening, why this might be happening, and how we can react to it. So everyone is different across the bridge from where I am. Everyone will reflect in a different way. Everyone will share and have different feelings. Some positive, some negative, some sad, some happy. But everyone has different thoughts or feelings about it. Now from our perspective as a First Nations community, this is definitely a time to reflect on healing and rejuvenation. Um and us continuing to make choices that help to keep us healthy and safe. Which is never easy. It's never easy to try to find balance in work and play. That's just a, an everyday struggle and everyone's going to be different. Sometimes we, we might go to others for our answers when we don't have them. Maybe we don't have the language to express how we feel. Maybe uh, um, 
we're not we don't have the strength to express it our pride or our, our love for others that's why it takes a lot of time to reflect is it from someone else is it from my family is it from a teacher is it from a counselor is it from friends but for others it might just be within themselves to find that answer to take that time to say hey you know what I may be struggling with this work it might have been before it might be online right now I need to take this time I need to take my own personal responsibility I have to make the choice for myself CM to make that choice I have to take the personal responsibility just like a bear to really think deep about how I can approach this Right now, this is our assignment, is to reflect back on how can I get this work done, this academic work, and progress well for the next step. So when we think about bears, you know, they're, they, they love to hibernate. We know that. They take that time to rest, regroup. And they do that in the winter. Now we know the winter is a very difficult, hard time for many during holidays. Um, weather is gray and gloomy. Uh, especially with First Nations communities. We celebrate our culture through seasons. So we prepare for the winter dance. The winter dance is a very personal experience for First Nations communities. It's mainly only for families in that area. We rarely have friends come. We rarely have, we don't have the public attend our, our winter dance. So we heal through drumming and singing. And a lot of these dancers who have been struggling with whatever it may be in finding balance between work and staying healthy, maybe they didn't make the right choices. Maybe, you know, uh, whether it's problems with addictions or violence or sad about lost family members. That's one of their choice to, to try to stay healthy and stay safe and find a balance. So some of you, that might be through music, art, dance, being with your pets, family, um, reading, or just being by yourself and and like the bear, trying to reflect on it and find that balance. For others, it takes it's going to take a little bit more time than others. Might not happen in middle school, might not happen in high school. Maybe it's something that as a young man or woman. Or so it's kind of like a time for transformation that's what ravens are there for ravens are known as a transformer wolves are there to help others so during that time Kwantlen the dancers would transform into whatever they need to be to become a responsible person. So think about that. Think about how you can share and what what your gifts are or what you want your gift to be so you can share with others. And sometimes when you think you're not doing the work properly, you are. Never underestimate the value or the effort you put into your work. It's it's gonna be it's gonna work out well, I know. So that's what we need. Just like the bear, we need to continue to look for our balance. Take that time to rest, and take that time to take that personal responsibility to continue with your schoolwork. If it's going good, if it's going great, maybe you're still thinking about how can I get this done. Maybe that answer relies on just yourself.
Maybe your mom and dad know that, or maybe your guardian knows that. Maybe it's through a counselor or your teacher or a friend. So thank you for for listening. Have a great day. Hai chika siyam. Thank you all.